Hello and today we'll be checking out the OpenCart Pre-Order Pro plugin that basically uh, allows the uh, Webso admin to set up the uh, pre-order for the uh, products that are out of stock and the customers can order the out of stock products using this particular plugin. So basically this allows uh, the uh, customers to make back orders uh, from the storefronts and uh, as you can see right now I'm at the uh, OpenCart platform based Webso front end and I'm on one of the uh, products that's uh, having the pre-order and this particular pre-order can be uh, made use of by the customers by logging into the account first so right now you can see that I'm not logged in so uh, there's a warning that please log in to pre-order this particular uh, product so here you can see the uh, name of the product is there the availability is sold out and uh, you can also see that the pre-order discount has been applied on the price of the product here and the price right now for the pre-order is uh, for the pre-order product is only $50 apart from that now let's see the different other options after login so let me log into my customer account first and then we'll come back to that particular uh, pre-order product once again so I've logged in now you can see the name of the product and here you can see a kind of countdown of how many days have left there for the pre-order so only 13 more days are available there and here you can see uh, uh, a text is uh, visible here that's the pre-order pro you can set it up from the backend panel and here we have the availability and we have the pre-order discount applied that is now the product price is $50 uh, or the pre-order product is $50 now on this particular product we have uh, set up the uh, pre-order as uh, uh, the partial so uh, the customers can make a partial payment and uh, that can be checked by just scrolling down and here you can see that we have the pre-order price is 25 percent before the completion of the order so i'll just show you the workflow uh, for the pre-order of a product that's uh, having the partial and the full payment mode and i'll be showing you how the discounts are also applied on the pre-ordered uh, product and how the inquiry can be uh, made out for any of the pre-ordered products from the uh, product page itself and how the admin can uh, then respond to the same so before we proceed further please do subscribe to this particular channel and uh, do, give, uh, do give it a thumbs up if you like this particular video and do press the bell icon to receive the latest updates uh, from our end on the latest videos uh, there itself and uh, also the customers can now uh, add uh, single and multiple pre-order products all together to make a checkout thereafter so uh, right now we have this product having a partial uh, type of a pre-order payment so here we have to make the 25 percent before completion of the order at the same time let me show you how we can inquire about this particular product as well so if i tap here on the inquiry we'll have to set up the uh, subject for this so let me set it as test subject then i have the query i can set it as test query so that's just for the demonstration purposes you can also set up the uh, capture here that you can see uh, for this particular pop-up form for the inquiry from the backend panel of uh, this uh, particular uh, store by navigating to the uh, plugins uh, configuration now let's tap here in the submit query button so you can see that the query has been submitted now uh, in a while we'll just see the inquiry that we have made from the backend as well uh, but before that after we uh, custom submits the inquiry he'll have to check that up by going to my account and there he'll be having on the right hand side uh, the pre-order sub menu option and he has the uh, option to do with the pre-order list and the inquiry list so if i go to the inquiry list i can see the uh, details of the inquiry right now the subject is test subject total thread zero the product for which we have asked the status open and from here i can tap on the uh, view button to check the inquiry details so right now the current status is open after I, after I receive a response from the admin that would be displayed here we can uh, ask uh, more to the admin and uh, anytime the admin can make market as a result so let me tap here in the uh, submit button from the customer's end so uh, we have uh, sent two uh, messages to the uh, inquiry to the uh, uh, product owner there now let's go back uh, to uh, our uh, pre-order product and let's uh, um, uh, make use of the same and uh, so here you can see that we are on the category of the pre-order here we have all of the pre-order products and here we have the pre-order button let's go to the product page 
and here uh, we have the $50 discount on this particular product now let's go ahead and let's make the 25% before completion of the order so uh, now uh, to add the product to the cart I'll just tap here in the pre-order button you can also edit this uh, text of the button here as well from the back end panel so I've added uh, the product all right these are two products let me on add only one so uh, now you can see that because we need to make the 25% uh, 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 payment for this particular uh, product so uh, it's showing only $25 uh, there so uh, let's make a checkout so uh, I'll be choosing my address here so I'll just fill in my details continue I'll just choose my delivery address continue so I have the shipping for five dollars there I'll choose the payment tap here so you can see the $25 is the initial partial payment for this particular uh, plugin as said by the admin let's confirm the order so uh, as soon as the order has been placed uh, we can check the details of the same by going to the history I'll tap here for the order 24 I'm now weighing the uh, details of the order itself and here we have the order details Rebecca customer the beach prom dress pre-ordered quantity one price has been set to $25 it's the initial payment now uh, the customer can go to the pre-order and then the pre-order list to check the pre-order he has made so here's our order number 24 the actual price was uh, all right I'll have to refresh that up Okay, uh, so uh, the actual price was 101 and the remo remaining amount is 50. We have paid uh, $30. Uh, we're in the product price here, you can see is $25 and the shipping rate was $5, partially paid. And uh, when uh, every the product comes into stock, at that time, uh, the customer will see this uh, uh, add to cart button as activated. And then he can add the product and make the rest of the payment there to complete the purchase and make the full payment so uh, let me show you that and uh, for that uh, let's uh, make the product uh, in stock now also kindly note that uh, if uh, uh, there's uh, a normal product that you're adding to your uh, pre-order then it would automatically uh, make it stock as uh, out of stock there you can do that manually as well apart from that uh, notifications can also be sent out to the customers uh, uh, for the uh, pre-orders there for that the admin needs to configure the uh, plugin configurations there so uh, let me make the uh, product as in stock now and as soon as the product comes into stock uh, email is sent to the customer uh, along with the uh, link uh, of the uh, product as well so that the customer can go ahead and uh, make the complete payment for the uh, pre-order product there so you can see that after on the day where when the uh, period product is in stock uh, the customer can see the uh, live button for this add to cart to make the uh, complete purchase there and to complete the payment as well so right now it's partially paid let's tap here on the button it would add the uh, product to the cart now the rest of the 25 dollars have to be made because uh, we had a 50 uh, dollar discount on 100 then we have made the payment uh, the parcel as 50 percent there and now we are going to make the rest of the payment so i'll just go ahead and i'll just uh, place the order there to complete the uh, uh, pre-order there and now uh, let me place the order so here the rest of the 25 and i'll hit up here on the confirm button now we can see uh, only one order uh, ID is generated on the customer's end so uh, still it's the order number 24 is showing complete and the total is uh, 55 that is 50 plus 5 is the shipping cost now you can see that the payment has been completed here now if I go to my pre-order pre-order list here is the order 24 for the customer the remaining amount is 0 the paid is uh, 50 plus 5 complete and that's how the pre-order works for the uh, partial payment now let's see it in the uh, form of the full payment as well and then we'll hop on to the admin backend panel to check their initial configurations required for the initial setup and the rest of the details for the uh, same how to check the pre-order list and the rest of the details how to create the pre-orders or add how to add the pre-orders to the uh, products so uh, before that let's uh, go ahead and let's go to the pre-order list once again 
uh, to the open card pre-order pro uh, category that we have and let me go to uh, the bell sleeve dress that we have so here you can see that uh, the uh, pre-order price is the complete price of the product and discount is applied right now I'll just choose the uh, product size we'll add to the cart we have to make the complete uh, payment for this uh, particular pre-order product and let's uh, make a checkout so I'll just uh, choose the shipping then the uh, payment method continue and this is uh, the full payment uh, thing so uh, the order has been placed let's go to the history $104 it's complete the pre-order product has been purchased for that per price now if I go to the pre-order list we have the order number 25 now the remaining amount 0 paid amount 104 having 100 product price and the shipping 5 complete all right now whenever this product comes into stock uh, after that uh, the so whenever the uh, pre-order product is in stock it would be directly shipped out to the uh, customer who has made the complete payment already now uh, let's hop into the admin backend panel and let's see what different configuration settings are there so logged into my open card platform based web store backend panel by entering my username and password and after the successful installation of this particular plugin you'll have the pre-order sub menu option here uh, having the configuration checking the pre-orders pre-order inquiries pre-order product list and the mails I'll take you through each of them one by one let's go to the uh, uh, configuration first and I'll show you how we can make the initial configurations so uh, so here we are on the pre-order pro general uh, tab so we have the mail tab as well let's go to the general so from here you can enable disable the pre-order functionality for your store you can choose your store time zone from the drop down you can enter the Google recapture site key and the recapture secret key so this is the same uh, thing that we use in the inquiry form there the Google recapture I'm not a robot uh, thing then we have the server key so this is used for uh, the uh, push notifications that are sent out to the customers on the pre-orders there so we have to enter the messenger ID for the push notifications as well you can check the user guide for more details about the server key and the messenger ID uh, the Google how to get the Google recapture site uh, there then we have the pre-order text now this particular text is visible on the uh, add to cart button that we have as I already told you similarly we have the pre-order message this is the message at the uh, top if I go back to the front end so uh, this is the uh, pre-order pro text that we see here so this can be uh, set up from uh, here the pre-order message we can set up the notification mode whether you want to set the notification customer notification mo mode as automatic or manually so uh, here you'll just select uh, what would be the preferred mode of notification which would uh, be sending out the customer the email about or the notification about the pre-order availability you can choose it as manual or automatic you can choose to, uh, whether you want to have the discounts on the pre-order products you can enable or disable that functionality and it is applicable on the pre-order products only you can choose the discount uh, type as fixed or percentage uh, you can also choose to convert the other stock products uh, to uh, pre-order manually or automatic if you choose it as automatic then all of the uh, other stock products would be created into pre-order otherwise you can choose manually which uh, product you want to convert into the pre-order itself then you can set the number of days for the pre-order products here you can set up the uh, total quantity of the pre-order uh, itself so here you'll be setting up how uh, the total uh, quantity of the selected product uh, that would be available for the pre-order itself you can set up the uh, quantity uh, per order for the pre-order pre so you can set the product quantity uh, that would be containing in a single order so the quantity per order is there then we have the order per customer so you can choose how many orders a customer can place you can set up the notification status so uh, you can set up uh, the uh, status when automatic notification will be sent to the uh, buyer so whenever the product is in uh, stock then the automatic notification for uh, would be sent out to the buyer uh, for the pre-order product when it's in stock you can choose the product uh, stock status here from the drop down 
and this would be applied to whenever a product is being set as a pre-order product so uh, whenever you are uh, setting a product even if it's in stock into uh, the product pre-order if you choose uh, the pre-order stock status then whenever the pre-order is applied at that time the sold out uh, status would be set or you can choose any one of the from the drop down as well and lastly you'll have uh, the option for the order status for the pre-ordered products so uh, you can choose the status for the pre-ordered products as uh, complete or as per your own requirement there so that was about the general setting let's come to the mail from here you can choose the mail keywords and make can make use of these within the uh, mails uh, that the admin would create and from here you can choose the notification mail to the uh, customer so this is the whenever the pre-order is available this mail would be sent out to the customer you can choose the pre-order email uh, uh, as a disable or enable so you can disable or enable the pre-order email so uh, if you enable this op particular option then uh, if you want a pre-order email uh, to be used other than the open cart update uh, email uh, then you can choose a disable for that then you can set up the admin message as well and this message is sent out to the customers on the pre-order uh, uh, with the order mail itself so uh, that was the configuration you can just save uh, the uh, settings from here and uh, I can choose this button to create a recapture as well now let's come to the pre-order section here we have gone through the configuration let's go to the uh, first let's go to the pre-order inquiries so we had made an inquiry from the storefront so here's the test subject uh, inquiry that we had made for the beach from breast total threads is one the status is open right now now the admin can reply to the customer from here the status is open right now uh, this was the query that we had said ask more to the admin the admin can reply back and can make it as uh, open or resolved let's make it as resolved okay we uh, the query must be more between 10 to 100 and uh, let's tap here in the uh, submit button now if I go back uh, to my uh, pre-order inquiries so here we can see the beach prompt desk total threads are two resolved there the same is visible to the customers as well under the pre-order inquiries there now uh, let's go to the uh, pre-orders now so whenever a pre-order is made that would be visible here uh, to the uh, admin let me filter out the pre-order or orders here so this was the 124 or 925 order that we had made and uh, we have made the full payment so we can check the details as well and from here we can see the product was 1499 dollars there and uh, if i go back to my pre-orders and let's go to the order number 24 that was for 50 dollars only along with the discount so uh, here is the 50 and 55 now uh, under the pre-orders basically all of the pre-orders that are placed would be visible here along with the notification status paid amount and uh, the status whether uh, the uh, pre-order the product has been pre-ordered or has been uh, fully paid or not whether the notifications are sent out to the customers when the product is in stock that can be checked from here and uh, to manually notify the customers we can select a particular pre-order and tap here in the notify and then tap ok on the prompt there and that would uh, basically send the notification to the customer for the pre-order is in, in stock there now coming to the uh, pre-order inquiries we've checked that now let's go to the pre-order product list so here the admin can see the complete list of pre-order products that he has created and for which he has said uh, enable the pre-order basically for the products and here we have the uh, bleach from breast the pre-order price was 51 the deduction type was percentage enable and we have the option to edit uh, this particular pre-order uh, list product from here we can also filter out the uh, pre-order products from the list using the product name model pre-order price uh, the status or the deduction as well to add a new uh, 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 to add a, uh, add the pre-order to a product we'll just tap here in the add button that brings up the add pre-order product uh, op option here so here we can choose the product uh, here we can choose the pre-order mode as full payment or partial payment so uh, let's go for the partial you can add the price of the partial payment so if uh, the uh, uh, the price of the product is uh, 50 
if I choose uh, 25 uh, then the pre-order would be uh, only $25 there then we can set up the pre-order quantity so it's uh, how it's the total quantity of the selected products uh, uh, that will be on the uh, pre-order there so I can set it as pre-order quantity as 2 uh, then we can set up the quantity per order so how many product quantity can contain a single order so a single order how many quantities can a single order contain uh, for this pre-order product we can set that up then we can set the order per customer so how many orders a customer can make for this particular one we can set up the pre-order discount so if I set it as 10 it would be in uh, uh, percentage there so we can set up the pre-order discount and it's only applied to the pre-order products we can choose whether we want to set uh, this functionality or this uh, what we say as uh, uh, basically if you want that only one IP should be able to place only one order then you can enable this up otherwise you can disable this uh, to allow uh, multiple orders from a single IP then you can choose the start data for the pre-order uh, then uh, the uh, date uh, for the pre-order when the product would be actually available the start date is when you are uh, asking them to make the payments for the pre-order then you can uh, enable or disable the status of this particular pre-order product and uh, lastly you just need to tap here in the save uh, button so now if I go to the uh, beach prompt press at the uh, storefront let me go there now if I refresh this page so you can see the uh, pre-order price is only 25 uh, before the completion of the order and uh, the discount is uh, uh, $50 and uh, the rest of the details as well according to the uh, pre-order product that we've just created so here the details the partial only 50% we are taking uh, the discount is already applied that is 50 so that's how we can uh, add the pre-order to the products in the store you can also create a new product by going to catalog and then products creating the product uh, whatever the, the status uh, be for the product in stock, or, in stock or whatever is there if you're adding that product from here for the pre-order then uh, its stock would automatically be uh, set to out of uh, out of stock there so uh, so this is the uh, pre-order is now a label mail that is sent out to the customers and here you can see the name of the product is there a link is there for the same the image is there all right and this is the mail for the partial uh, payment that has been made after uh, when the product is in, in stock then the customer receives a link to complete the payment uh, for the uh, pre-order product itself it's in the case of uh, partial payment this mail goes to the customer and lastly under the mails uh, let's go to the mail section so here you can create the uh, pre-order mails here we have the pre-order is available mail that we have created uh, you can use those uh, things here uh, that's uh, that this uh, that brings up the details of the respective things like the codes that are there that we were talking about within the configuration section let's go back to the configuration and uh, let me go to the mail section here the keywords that we've used and uh, these can be used uh, here to create the pre-order mails to create a new one just tap here in the add uh, new uh, button set up things and you're done uh, with this uh, particular uh, setting here and that's how this particular uh, plugin that's the open cart uh, pre-order uh, plugin works and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin and if you have any questions or queries regarding this uh, particular plugin then you can get back to us at any time at uh, support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise it again at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead